Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's talk about independent events as opposed to dependent events. So what's the definition? Independent events, like let's say A and B, are events where the occurrence or non-occurrence of one of the events does not affect the probability of occurrence of the other event. So if A happens or doesn't happen, then it shouldn't affect if B will happen or not happen. In other words, the probability of B happening will not be affected by whatever happens with A. But if we have dependent events, well, these are events where the occurrence or non-occurrence of one of the events does affect the probability of occurrence of the other events. For example, let's say we toss a dime in a quarter. It doesn't matter what the result is when we toss the quarter, it will not affect the results of the dime. For example, if we toss a head for the quarter, that will not affect the outcome for the dime. It could still be a head or tails, and it doesn't matter what happened to the quarter. Those are what we call independent events, and those are easy to determine. But sometimes it's not so easy to determine if they're independent. Sometimes it's actually really hard, as with combinations of outcomes. For example, let's say we toss a couple of dies, and event A is that we end up with a 10, and event B is that the outcome is a double. Now, if event A does occur, and we end up with a 10, then event B has a very different probability because then there's only one option left. It must be a 5 and a 5. But if event A does not happen, we don't toss a 10, we toss, for example, a 5, or we toss a 4, or we toss a 2, or we toss a 6, then the probability of event B happening is very different. So if we don't toss a 10, there's multiple ways in which we can still get doubles when event A did not happen. So you can see that the probability of event B does depend upon what happened to A. So we do A first, and then we see how it affects B. Then you can see that those two events are dependent on one another because that involves a combination of outcomes. And so there you can see the difference. Now sometimes it's even more difficult to determine and we'll show you some, some ways in which we can do that. There's some very systematic ways in which we can determine if the event is independent or the events are dependent. And that is how it's done.